Well, Grant, uh, what was a, a difficult season potentially is turning into not a bad one at the moment and a cracking result at QBR at the weekend. Yeah, it was good. It was a good win. I think it's a much needed win. And uh, we're going to need a fair few more of them to get the target where we want to get to at the end of the day. So, um, looking forward to the FA Cup weekend and go we'll on Sheffield Wednesday. You've got to keep your feet on the ground, though. You, more than anybody in that dressing room, knows that you're not going to get carried away just because of one good result. We've got nothing to keep off. That. We've got nothing to keep off here on the ground anyway. We, we're ninth, eighth, ninth in the league. It's good enough. So we've got nothing to keep off here on the ground for. We've got to push hard. We've got to chase the team, teams above us. And but I know the experience in this league is 18 games to go, and I, I know there's a long way to go. And each week you've got to chip away the teams above you because it's a long old three months, four months to go. So you just keep chipping away, and you've got to pick up good runs, important times of the season. And I believe January, February going into March is important times. This is the ridiculous division that it always has been and it seems to be getting more difficult each year. Yeah, it does, it never changes. Uh, but the one thing that I think the only thing I've seen change over the last few years is the quality. The quality's big now. The quality's really good, some good teams in the league and uh, I've been fortunate and lucky enough to be in, out of the league three times. So um, I know how to do it and I want to do it again this year because I want to put Right, what went wrong last year? Because I feel in within myself, I, I picked up an injury and missed half the season. Didn't really do myself justice, so I want another crack. There's been many changes around the place, but you've been the beacon of, of solidarity there. You signed a contract, a new contract, a, a while back. You believe in in what this club is about and what it can do. Um, it's one thing I know from day one since I've been in the club. I enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy playing for the football club, I always have done and I think that shows by staying at the football club for another few years, so um, I'm pleased and if I see contract to contract, if I see it out, that's I never thought we'd be able to move for eight years, it's something I'd be proud of and um, long may I continue because I really enjoy my football here, got a good group of people in the dressing room who I've played with for a fair few years, who are good people and I want to see them good friend have a good crack at the Premier League because they were we, we didn't do it justice and some players in that dressing room need to, need to have another crack at it. This weekend brings the, the FA Cup back round but it brings back Brighton and brings back memories of the, the game that we did get in the Premier League it lasted a season when Brighton effectively took our place I suppose but putting that to one side you know Brighton will, will come here and want to give it a right good go you would imagine. Yeah, one thing I'd say about Brighton, if I'm honest, the way they've reacted over the last 18 months since we beat them, that's that been a massive credit to Chris Hewitt and a massive credit to the staff of that and the players at that football club because it was a bit of a blow for them. But um, they've reacted, they've bounced back the way they should and shows a good club they are. And they're coming in the FA Cup this week and the tables are turned and we're, we're the underdogs and we have to show that and we have to win. He's a man who is hugely respected within the game. and just Go back to the the third under the FA Cup and talk about respect when, when we beat Sunderland not that often that you get both sets of fans cheering the name of one player but you got massive respect from the Sunderland fans that day yeah we all know my, my, my thoughts on Sunderland Football Club I love the club um, I was born season two since I was two and the appreciation I have from the Sunderland fans has been massive massive part of my family but also I've been a fan since the day one I've come into this football club they've, they've bought into me um, and I've bought into them and really appreciate the both sets of fans but at the end of the day I'm a Middlesbrough player and I really enjoy it and Looking forward to you said, to have another crack but it is step by step whether it's the FA Cup We want to win games um, it's been stop start all season stop start, let's be honest with ourselves um, but it's been stop start and we're still within the shout so that's 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 good um, so hopefully we can hit a roll and get a one game at a time, win games, win games, because that's uh, what you have to do to chase the pack in front of you, because that's ultimately it. We're sitting eighth in the league and it's not good enough at the minute, and we have to pick points off the teams above us and um, make sure we're nice, but we don't. We look forward to seeing how it pans out. Thanks for your time, Grant. No